How you doing, Rob over here? I uh, just want to do a quick little video, um, identification video, just what to look out for, reselling. Um, I know people are always looking for items that, uh, you know, obviously they can sell me good money with, but stuff that when you go to the, the garage sales, the state sales, thrift stores that the, uh, the, you know, that the people selling it, they're not really asking a lot because they don't know about it. Anyway, um, what does well is, is, uh, I just picked these up today, um, these two shirts, um, I only paid five dollars for the two shirts, this is the vintage flannel shirts, but I'm going to tell you some quick things to look out for, uh, this particular brand I didn't know, this is called the Al Alaskan, okay, now it's zooming in here, you can see it. Uh, when you look, when you find these kind of shirts, first of all, obviously you want to look for condition, but it doesn't matter. Even if there's damage, it's fine. But this is the older style. You can tell by these kind of tags like this. You'll see made in USA. Um, this one happens to be cotton, but it's just overall this kind of plat, this kind of, uh, pattern. You know, this one's really nice. Very nice condition. Very little at wear. Buttons aren't cracked. So actually, these buttons actually look... Actually, these buttons look like new, actually. So, this one is good. I just looked at it completed. Um, one sold for 39 bucks, which isn't bad. So, I paid two bucks and for 39 Over here is a... Uh, this is a Woolrich, but it's a woman's Woolrich, but that's okay. Women still like flannel, too. Um, but the key on these is... Because other people talk about Woolrich. They know about Woolrich. I hear people, you know, on YouTube talking about it. It's a good brand. But not all do well. This particular one does pretty well. Sells for about the same 30, 40 bucks. If you can see on here, it will say 85... I don't know if you can see it, but it it, it does. it's not pure 100% wool. It's 85... Um, 85 wool, 15 nylon. You even put that in the listing, 8515 blend, when you're doing your search, you know, the uh, search bar, whatever. But this, um, you know, this is still will sell. You know, obviously, now on the wool, you have to be careful about holes. This one, I looked, I didn't really didn't see any holes. But even if it has one or two holes, if it's not too big, uh, it's not it's not a big problem, you know, because they all they're all gonna have one or two holes. Or a couple, or a small stain or something, you know. I mean, you talk about old, old clothes. Anybody who's buying old stuff, they're not expecting stuff to be perfect, you know. But obviously, they expect it to be nice. So uh, just look out for vintage flannel, especially now it's getting cold. You know, you'll list it; it'll sell right away. All right, thank you.